Okay, we're gonna be working on old girl. This isn't uh, gonna be an instructional video, a how-to or anything like that. We're gonna do a bunch of cut scenes, but what we're gonna do is we're putting a cam in, we're putting an intake in, and we're putting a throttle body in. Then we'll do the tune, we'll see how it goes. First time I'm ever dealing with internals on an engine. I look forward to it. I'm gonna be prepping it up tonight. It's a Friday night after work. Saturday, we'll probably dig uh, deeper into it, but I'm gonna start it up and pull her out, get her in the center of the garage so you can see what it sounds like right now with the parts that are on it right now, which is what cold air intake. I have uh, the Kooks long tube headers, high flow cats, and Roush muffler deletes. So we'll see what she sounds like right now. We'll pull her out, get her in, and show you a few things on the install. I park it so close to the wall when I back in that I gotta go into the passenger side. See you in a minute. together so I'm pretty excited about this let's hope that the end of the video is as exciting as the beginning of this video so I got the Ford racing intake got the charge motion control deletes on them I already installed the throttle body on it the Ford racing throttle body unlike the BBK which is much cheaper comes with all the electronic components already put on by Ford the voltages should already be spec, so I don't have to worry about it. Whereas the BBK and other models, you have to replace this with your current model or your current setup that's on the car on the throttle body. Then they got the valve covers and the cams. So I'll be coming in and out with this. Just carrying the stuff outside. I'm already busting knuckles. All right, here's your before shot. So we're going to take that off, replace it with a new intake, take the valve covers off, replace them, change out the cams underneath these valve covers, and make this thing look totally different, and hopefully sound better, and hopefully start back up. Alright, so I ain't touched the part yet, because I've been waiting for him to arrive first. Wasn't going to do anything without Swamp Toes. What's up? Okay, so I removed the... I just want to show this because it, it might be my first concern, but just want to show everybody. So I removed the... Th this goes in between the throttle body and the cold air intake. And on the stock throttle body, this is where this came off of, it seems like the 62 millimeter is a little bit bigger. I'm going to try to get it onto here. And... But I don't know if it's gonna work. I might have to get a different adapter. But no, it's maybe solid. we can just push it on. It's slightly bigger. Let's see. There yeah, we go. Okay. Perfect. So it is slightly bigger. So I guess if I run into stuff like that, I just want to show it at least. So it works. But I was a little nervous that I might have to go. Not nervous. That's an easy piece. But yeah, it fits. Just slightly bigger. All right. Got the cold air intake off. Got the, I said I wasn't making an instructional video, but it's kind of getting their way a little bit, but still, not an instructional video, so don't keep watching if you want to learn something. Taking the spark plug boots out right now, one at a time. Got the fuel rails disconnected from the intake. And that's where we're at. All right, I've seen this on somebody else's uh, kind of uh, how-to video on this, and it looks like it's happened to me as well. This stuff right here, I know I had a rat in the garage at one point because it got in my wife's car and it doesn't look like it affected anything. And I did see this on someone else's video as well, but that's funny. The rat, it looks like he's packed a couple of, it looks like lint, some grass inside here where the, 
motor has that U shape in it. But let me show you the other intake as well, which my car, it's an 05, and it only has about 40,000 miles on it. The charge motion plates here, you can see that there's a lot of carbon buildup on them. I wouldn't think there'd be that much. Maybe that's not that much. I don't know. But it seems like a good bit. I guess it don't matter. You know, you got gas and oxygen and all that good stuff coming through there. But that's all right. The new intake's going to take these charge motion plates off. And it's just going to be rocking and rolling. Heading on to the next step now. I'm going to tape up these holes so no debris gets in there. About to clean all that up real good. That's going to take some time. Put some tape over it. Then take the valve covers off. All right, got it taped up. So the next step is got to take the alternator bracket and bend this piece up. Drill a, the hole back here needs to be a quarter inch. So we need to drill that a little bit bigger. And then we got to bend this all the way up for the other intake, the Ford racing intake to fit on it properly. All right, so we're, we're in intermission. Howdy. So we don't want to go any further anymore. I got a dragonfly here in Swamp Toes. Swamp Toes. Oh, okay. And uh, <laughs> this is the intermission part because cams are going to be in the morning. And it's about, I think it's getting close to 10 o'clock. Yeah, the it's approaching. It's so, 9.38 p.m. Yeah, so we're going to call it because I don't want to take the valve covers off and get any debris and dirt in there. But So that's it. That's where we're going to stop tonight. We'll pick it up in the morning. And... Due to YouTube magic. What are you cooking for breakfast? You'll never know because it's just going to cut and it's going to be the morning. I need breakfast. What do you want for breakfast? Omelets. Omelets? I'm good omelets. at I'm good at omelets. I know you is. I'm good at omelets. All right. We'll do omelets in the oh, morning. Yeah. All right. You make beignets omelet. in the morning? Yeah. All right. Beignets. beignets in the morning and then cams. You know, we already broke it down. Destruction is easier than creation. That's true. So maybe a little further than noon, but see you guys tomorrow. Saturday morning, we're back. Got all the bolts from the valve cover undone. As you can see, I've already kind of wedged it loose. We're going to take that off. These bolts stay in there. The new valve cover has the bolts already installed. So, just going to get this off, get the gasket off. Let's see. It's going to come out of there. There we go. Alright, pull this gasket out. I have to take the the two spots where there's sealant right here and right there. Just scrape all that out of there. Put some new sealant on before we put the new valve covers on. And also I'm just gonna clean up all we've seen something fall in there. I'm gonna clean all that up, get all that out the way. Try to keep this debris from falling in there. There's a little bit on there. We'll try to do it nice and slow and steady. Yeah, looks like it's gonna be tough not to get anything in there. We'll try our best. Nice and cleaned up. Then we're gonna rotate the crankshaft and get this top dead center. Clean this up with some brake cleaner. And put a mark on it with a marker just in case the chain falls off. What I'm doing here is removing each one of these caps following the instructions there. I'm laying it out here in the exact order that I took everything out so I know exactly where it goes. But the good thing with these two is, as you can see, if you mess up, they do have numbers one through five and an arrow pointing the way that they go. So it's kind of hard to mess it up if you just pay attention to that. I don't see that in most videos. So there you go. There we go. 
Then we'll move on to this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, four, five, six. Oops, I took one off early. Uh oh. Let's hope that doesn't change anything. Just misread it. I'm supposed to take this one off next. Oh, actually, it's this one because that front cap is way up there. The number one. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, shit. I'm going to put it back on. It's only four. I was counting this one as number one, but they start at number two. And that is five and six. That's three, four. I'm going to put this one back on so it all comes off. Okay. Oh, got to put some lube on it. Okay. Gotta remember to do everything in the right way. <laughs> yeah. Get a little lube on it. Bolt. Okay, this makes sense because this is going to position it exactly where it's supposed to be okay. for everything first like so loosely tighten yep that makes sense okay so we'll tighten it down but not torque it down then we'll move to number three let's see all right just hand tightening this Okay, all right, number three. Already got my oil in there. My lubricant, three, arrow forward. One, two, three, okay. I guess it really doesn't matter as long as you just tighten it in the sequence shown. <clears throat> so I almost wanna start with that one next. Or first, just to kind of get it on there. Oh, uh, there we go. Yeah, that's working. That's definitely pushing it down. Okay. Well, that's how you do it. Okay. I think this is kind of good to show on here too because, you know, everybody on the videos that you watch, it says the order, but you don't see this part. It's just like they take it out and put it in. Yeah, it doesn't show you why or what happens if you do it wrong. Yeah, so very nicely I didn't use the compressor tool to take out the followers I uh, as most people and if you've watched any other videos you've seen they don't use the spring compressor tool to pull it out just got to be really super careful because as I was picking up my finger did hit this one see and it's still moving a little bit because it's not tight but uh it did hit that one and knock it out, so I had to put it back in place. All right, I'm just gonna follow all, all of them per the instructions there. Something else that took me a second to figure out, and yeah, you know, I went on Ford's website and printed their instructions, but I didn't know what was the left and the right, and none of the videos that I've watched specified it. But if you look at the instructions, the 3701A, so you'll see 01A on the right hand camshaft and 02A on the left hand. So it's at the back of the last lobe right there. As you can see, this one says 01A. So I've done the left side already. This is going to go on the right side. But just in case you're trying to figure that piece out, there is a left and a right. But I also think that if you put it together wrong, if you put the wrong one in, you're not going to get the caps on. It's not going to fit right anyway because these lobes are all different. Like you're not going to put your drivetrain together back perfectly or it just won't fit. It won't, it shouldn't fit, but don't take any chances. Look at that, match it up. All right. The left hand side is in. I don't think I'm going to film the right hand side at all. It's basically the same thing, but got all the lubricant cam lube on it and I'm gonna just put the valve cover back on and do the right hand side remember you gotta get a new cam phaser bolt
can't use the same one. Got to torque it down to 30 foot pound and then an extra 90 degree turn after that. All right, I think I'm ready for the valve covers. I got a little sealant here and there. It's the only two spots you really need it. And let's put it on. New blue covers. I'm gonna take it off, might as well. Dress it up. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah. Now, can you do 1080p? What if you put it like I don't have 4K monitor? Yeah, I can do 1080p. All right, so I got it all back together. Well, I still got to bolt down the intake. This is the hardest part right here. I had to, well, I say hardest. It was actually pretty easy, but that's hard ass plastic. You got to cut it an inch and a half back to shorten it so it fits right on there, but that's what it looks like right now. We're going to keep going. <laughs> all right. Got everything installed. Now it's time to flash it. Continue. Turn the key on. Do not start the engine. Press continue when ready. It's my old tunes. This is the new one. Rev limiter uh, 6375. Yeah, that's good. Let me just approve. Tune one options default. Continue. Checking Mary status. Turn the vehicle's ignition key to off position. Turn the vehicle's connection to the on position. Setting up process. Download complete. Tune has been programmed successfully to the vehicle. Turn key off. All right, got everything done. About to start it up. Ooh, I've been dreading this moment. Whoops, that wasn't good. <laughs> I heard something metal hit the ground. <laughs> no, there's, yes, yeah, so, it's a, it's a socket. It did a pulley, I thought. But it wasn't a socket that made that noise. Yes, it was. It did a pulley, I think. Yeah. Oh! Fuck. What? <laughs> what happened? Did I want that? That was still on the crankshaft pulley. <gasps> oh, yeah. it's, it's fine. No, and all of us put our eyes on there. And that sucker was on that crankshaft pulley still. It's fine. It's, yeah. You're not going to hurt up the crankshaft pulley that easy. Okay. Woo, woo. All right, so remember to take out your breaker bar and your crankshaft hey, pulley. Hey, you catch, you catch on that clutch. Whoa. Whatever, whatever you let off. Yeah. Of. You're good, good. <laughs>